last session we stopped here we are still doing semi-supervised learning we want to cover mixed match today and we are gonna learn what we mean by sharpening but in terms of the big picture of the type of topics that we have covered so far when it comes to semi-supervised learning we can classify the existing methodologies into three categories some of them are based on consistency regularization like mean teacher and virtual adversarial training that we covered last session some of them are about entropy minimization where you have some pseudo labels these are one hot versions of the soft distribution that your model is predicting on the unlabeled data as their labels and then at the same time we are going to do or people do uh, traditional regularization and all three of these categories you're putting some extra structure on your model on your neural network why would you do that you usually do regularization whenever you have limited labeled data and this is exactly the case that we have here we have semi-supervised learning which means you have limited labeled data a quick recap of mean teacher and virtual adversarial training you can put both of them under this umbrella that you have an image you augment it perhaps you rotate it translate it uh, or add noise to it you do the same thing to the same image you perturb it using a different perturbation strategy or augmentation strategy this is going to give you two different images but these are basically the same images you just change them you rotate it and you shift it them it means that if you have a model giving you some labels for these two pairs of images these two pairs of images need to be consistent their corresponding labels should be consistent when it came to mean teacher you would do augmentation but then the parameters of the teacher were, uh, were an exponential moving average hence the name mean of the student virtual adversarial training this augmentation was based on an adversary who is trying to find the weak spot of your model and make it make a mistake and the idea of virtual adversarial training was you wanted to smooth this uh, neural network or this classifier or smooth out the, dis the decision boundary of this neural network in the direction where your neural network is the most sensitive and then we are going to cover sharpening today we haven't yet seen any examples of entropy minimization we are going to see sharpening today and then in terms of traditional regularization you can do weight decay or mix up and mix up if you have two images let's say the image of a cat the image of a dog x prime is going to end up being a convex combination of a cat and a dog which you can think of it as a cat dog and then the corresponding label should adjust as well with a minor catch that you usually have perfect data perfect labels on x1 and you have imperfect labels on x2 they are coming from a model therefore you want your x prime the pair two images to be closer to x1 rather than x2 that's why here you put a maximum between lambda and one minus lambda okay what is sharpening and what is mix match let's start with mix match and then we are gonna explain sharpening your mix match you can think of it as a function that is going to take as input a data set of labeled example a data set of unlabeled examples and is returning some modified uh, data sets labeled and non-labeled where you are associating some labels to the unlabeled data here we saw that augmentation helps but why would you augment once why don't you augment multiple times take the same image and augment it multiple times using different strategies and that's the idea of mix match you have an unlabeled image augmented to k different images perhaps rotate them at random perhaps uh, flip them left and right perhaps have different crops of it play around with the saturation of your image and then call your classifier which is 
initially trained on labeled data to classify this image. And because you have K different versions of the same image, your classifier is going to give you K different predictions or K different distributions. Average them out, sharpen them, basically focus on one of these uh, classes, which is dominating. And then this is going to be the label that you're going to associate to the unlabeled examples. That's the big picture. In terms of the details, you have a batch of labeled data, X. X is labeled. You have a batch of unlabeled data, and the mix match is going to produce X prime and U prime. These are your processed labeled examples and unlabeled examples with some guest labels. In terms of your notation, your X is going to be pairs of input images and output labels. These are labeled data. U is going to be unlabeled. You are going to have some sharpening temperature, which says how much are you going to magnify the maximum, uh, maximum uh, probability, how much you're going to uh, magnify that. And the other one is how many augmentations are you going to do? This is a hyperparameter. At the same time, alpha here is also a hyperparameter, which is going to give you your lambda. Beta distribution, depending on alpha, could give you a uniform distribution, or it could give you a distribution that is sort of U-shaped, which means that you are focusing around your data. You're sampling more around your real data rather than these uh, fake data in between. So that's what beta distribution in addition to this alpha hyperparameter is doing. What would you do? You would take a labeled example, the input image corresponding to it, augment it. This is similar to what we were doing here. You would augment that image. You would take your unlabeled image, augment it k times. So now you have k different versions of the same image. This is unlabeled. You already have a model which initially is trained on your labeled examples. You call that model on these uh, k versions of your unlabeled image. That's going to give you k predictions, average them out. That's going to give you the average prediction across all of these k versions of your input image. This is exactly this box here, in addition to these arrows. You sharpen it. And what is sharpening? You take your probabilities and power them to a temperature, one over temperature. Let's see what happens if t goes to zero. This is going to end up being uh, one over t is going to go to infinity. p is a number from zero to one. That number, if you keep multiplying by, by itself, is going to get smaller and smaller. And uh, this is end up giving you zero over zero. And then uh, this is basically converging to a Dirac distribution. This is going to give you a one-hot distribution. On the other side of the spectrum, if you set t to go to infinity, one over t is going to go to zero. p to the power zero is a one. One over summation of a bunch of ones is going to give you one over l, and that's going to be uniform distribution. So this is what sharpening does. You're focusing more on the probability that is dominating. Okay, perfect. And it's going to in induce more certainty in the predictions on your unlabeled examples. Okay, we are not done yet. Now you have labels for the augmented versions of your labeled data, which is going to be the same label as the image itself. You are going to have labels for your unlabeled data. And these are augmented versions of your unlabeled images. You have labels for them now. You put all of them in a set. Let's call it W. Shuffle it. And here is where traditional regularization is going to come in. You're going to do mix up on your labeled images. These are the augmented versions of your labeled images. And uh, the first few entries of W, so whenever you see WI, it is actually an image and the corresponding label. And you're doing mix up. You're doing this operation. You do mix up on the unlabeled images as well. And then you're going to return X prime and U prime. Both of them are labeled. Therefore, you can write down your last function. On the labeled data, you know P. And then you are minimizing the cross entropy. 
you know your labels and you're minimizing it. This is basically a classification problem, the standard one. For the other one, for the unlabeled one, you're gonna do consistency regularization. You take an image in this uh, modified unlabeled set, you know the corresponding queue, you know the corresponding image, you take that, push it through your model, and whatever your model is saying, it should be consistent with the label that you end up with after sharpening and after averaging. So this portion is similar to consistency regularization. Entropy minimization is where you're doing sharpening and you're also doing regularization, classical regularization. So mix match is merging three different classes of ideas from prior literature. Any questions? Was everything clear? Okay, perfect.